Hi, um, I'm back. Again. <laughs> I've been just looking for some tutorial ideas and I ended up like thinking about like making a how to make or how to use nulls in After Effects because I have seen a lot of videos and edits with a super hard movement on 3D scenes. Yeah, that. So first of all, I gotta make the composition. I'm gonna add like a solid element. Put this on black. Okay, oak search element. The text, subscribe. Custom layers, custom text, and subscribe. Scene setup, presets, bevels, physical text, extra. I'm gonna use this one. Environments, environments, above. I like this one. And now, I'm gonna turn off the text. Now, new, I'm gonna go to camera. You can enable the debug field, but I'm not gonna use it. Okay, um, uh, Oh, no object. Now that you have all this, you gotta drag this little thingy to the null. Now with the position, you can put it like right here, or you just can scale it. I'm gonna go to the element tab and scene setup. Gonna create a new folder on top for stuff. Put it on two starter pack, ball fracture. I'm gonna use it like Chrome. I'm gonna go to the multi object. I just gotta create like this simple animation to the second two, I guess, and put it on. 100 probably like on 40 it looks like shit. you just gotta select this to keyframe this graph now it looks good now how to use the nulls that's the thing you can use the rotation the x rotation y rotation and z rotation so i'm gonna create a scale frame right here and i'm gonna create like a movement from here probably like this the same graph you can make it like right here with a few frames before the this one ends something like this and i'm gonna create this little graph something like this what happened if i wanted to make it like another like animation like another rotation animation well you just gotta go to the, your last key duplicate the null press u drag this little thing to the null one the one of that's on the top and you just gotta delete all of this one right here and you can create another keyframes right here go to right here and produce like something like this you can you can you can do whatever you want to be honest it looks more smooth you see now you can go to the element tab render settings motion blur and turn this on on i'm gonna put this like on 16 just let me see how it looks yeah it looks a lot better i like it i like it it could be more smooth if i do this see this one looks better i'm gonna duplicate you gotta go to the last keyframe you gotta duplicate on all press u drag this to the to the top now you can't delete this i'm just gonna create something like this this is how you can make like nulls look a lot smoother that's basically it remember to follow me on instagram if you want my project files you can buy them please subscribe Turn on the the bell, or I don't know how to say that in English. Sorry, my bad, my bad. But yeah, that's basically it. So, bye bye, bye bye. <laughs>